So we're going to find an inverse here. There's two steps to find an inverse. Let's write those down. You're going to swap x and y. That's step one. Step two, solve for y. All right, so first step, swap x and y. Well, there is no y on the page. So how in the world do we have y? Well, y is always equal to f of x. And here our f of x is 6x plus 7 divided by 12x minus 2. All right, so that's step, well, we haven't swapped anything. We're about to swap. So this is step 1, swap x with y. And that gives us x equals 6y plus 7. Now you have to swap all x's and y's. So this used to be another x, and it's going to become a y minus 2. All right, so we swapped x and y. Now we're going to solve for y. Easier said than done because y appears twice. So how in the world do we make y appear once? Well, just remember fractions suck. We're going to get out of fraction land, so I'm going to multiply by 12y minus 2. So let's start that up here. I'll just rewrite everything. So I'm multiplying both sides of the fraction by 12y minus 2. And that cancels the denominator on the right side. That's the entire reason I did it. Now we're going to distribute x here. 12xy minus 2x equals 6y plus 7. So we're going to combine like terms, but I need to get the y's grouped up. So I need to move 6y to the left side, so I'm going to subtract 6y. The other thing, I don't want 2x over here because it's got no y's. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So again, all I did was I moved the 6y to this side and the minus 2x to that side, and you're basically subtracting the 6y and adding the 2x to both sides. That's how you accomplish that. All right, we're almost there. y appears twice. We're very close. How do I make it appear once? My favorite F word, we get 2 factor. So the y factored out of negative 6y is negative 6. Factor y out of 12xy is 12x and equals 2x plus 7. We are almost there. How do you solve for y? Get rid of y's last friend, which is 12x minus 6. So you're dividing by 12x minus 6. And once you have y by itself, you've accomplished step 2. You've solved for y. And what you're looking at is f inverse of x. So you are done right here. 12x plus 7 divided by, or 2x plus 7 divided by 12x minus 6. So that is the inverse of the original function.